Hello, let's go, SD here, and welcome to Satisfactory 1.0. I know there are many YouTubers that are playing this game, but I have an other perspective of this game, and I'd like to show you how I'm doing it, and I hope you can learn something, and of course, if you got some tips and tricks, just let me know. Immediately, I'm going to start, of course, with a new game. Just quickly, check that out. Grassfield, Rocky Desert, Northern Forest, June Desert. All good ones to start with, but of course, as a beginner, you should try the grass field. I have got like 1200 hours in this game, so I'm not really a beginner, but I'm still going to go with a grass field. Alright, here we go. SD Play Factory, uh, skip intro. Let's just start with the intro, so we get the full experience of the whole game with the information and all that stuff. So let's just get started. All right, Separation here we go. From main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistia. Can we region. move? Yes, we can. All pioneers functional. Of course we can. Initiating dispersion. All right. Uh, can we get some pioneer. more information? I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. What's going on? And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fix it. Short term solutions what to was long term that? problems. Initiating planet fall. Atmospheric entry in 3, 2, 1. Beginning arrow assist. Alright, we're going down. Drag within acceptable parameters. Everything is fine, everything is looking good. Yes, we're dropping. Are we not on fire? Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Parachute, alright, fine. Deploying backup, backup parachute. parachute. Ooh. Skipping parachute. Why are you skipping Landing parachute? Activating retro propulsion. Oh, oh it's fine. Look at that. Look at that, how beautiful. Oh, I'm excited to do this one, especially because I've been playing so long with this game, and yeah, this is a little bit different than the most people that you can see playing this. So I hope you will enjoy this. But all right, everything is fine. Pioneer acceptable, yes, nice. Push it up, let's go. Oh, don't forget something, yes. Or, yeah, building gun or something like that. Nice. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive. The third. Welcome to Massage 2 ABB in the binary system of Akicha. All right. We get some uh, good information. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. Right. Can we push this further? Faster? Step to open the inventory. Supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. All right, let's Adhere do this. Here we go. And equip the Fixit Inc. Zeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Zeno Zapper. We need to defend ourselves against all the creatures in here. Next oh, objective. looking good. Dismantle the drop pod. Fixit Incorporated as cost effective and oh, yeah. efficient. Oh yeah. Of course. We do not waste. Let's the dismantle this one. Be recycled to construct the first stage of the nice. habitat and utility base. Often referred hold to as the Hold P to bring the resource scanner. So we can hold the V and then go with Iron Scan, and it should. Next objective. Use the resource I think down there. to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. Yes, we if will do that. If you find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. All right, grab some resources. Go, go. Can we walk faster? Yes. Potential edible collected. Eating it and surviving does not count as a valid field test and does not generate enough data for fix it to make an informed decision. Store this potential resource for later use. Yes, we will do that, Ada. So in the meantime, Ada will tell us a lot of these things and will help us proceed. I've been grabbing some wood and some leaves and all that stuff. 
because we're going to need it we're going to push this to the max and i see already the location that we're going to start with many people are going to play at that location but it's still the best way to do it potential edible collected if consumed before authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by fix it the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences store this potential resource for later use we will do that thank you ada again all right if i see these rocks something like limestone or sulfur or something else i will grab it so that these things will be going on in between because we need to unlock a lot of stuff in the mam but that's a little bit later on we need to start with the beginning all right this is the perfect spot to work and why do i say this because after a while we're going to build a huge platform all the way on top and expand a lot of resources together and make sure we get yeah almost the max out of it should be fine all right let's grab the last thing we need let's see iron but before we're going to grab that iron we need to yeah get rid of this one slide jump and then let's attack all right so already I got some tips for you if you're yeah, attacking these. Maybe this should help you. If it's going to attack you, you need to go. Yeah, you, so you can jump or you can go to the left. You go, just go to the left, that's much easier than jumping. Samples of new alien species acquired. Interrupting previous message for higher priority message. Next objective. Use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Fixes will not pay by the kilometer. I'm not getting paid anyhow, so <laughs> what does it matter? But okay. Uh, first of all, we need to place the hub. Yeah, it's, say, it's saying you need to place it close by, but I'm going to place it a little bit further. This is perfect spot to make sure we can expand a lot. So if we open this building menu, we can go to the hub and then place it. Uh, let's see, the power should be down there if I'm correct. Is this correct? I hope so. We shall see. Let's place it. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. All right, we are here, so we need to go with hub upgrade one. All right, that should be done soon. Iron rod, select a milestone and then go to the crafting menu. So for iron rods, we need some iron ingots. That's fine, let's craft it all till we get 10 and then we can just do this. And look at that, how fast this will go. Perfect. First one, done. Here we go. Oh. Hub upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone. The first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix it mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade two. All right, let's select the upgrade too. Sure, why not? So what did we get? Yeah, we got a storage box in here. Already pushed something in there. And we got a frame, some kind of roof. So it's a long time that I've played the tutorial. So this should be a crazy thing to see what's going on. All right, I think we got everything. Should be fine. Let's push it in there. Next upgrade, done. Oh boy. Oh, beautiful. Hub upgrade two, power and shell completed. The smelter can Here turn go. all ores such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun Ooh, fact, boy. most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with fix-it technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade three. All right, upgrade three, let's go. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some wire and all the crazy stuff, but I can find another spot. 
So let's do a little bit kind of a sheeting instead of handcrafting everything. Let's go find another spot because I know for sure we can grab something close by. If we're going all the way up here following this line we got on top of this one the copper. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Where was it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You sneaky one. That was sneaky. So, of course, you can take this away. So, alright, this top one is removed. Let's go all the way down there. Ooh, I see something. Alright, some sulfur. Unknown chemical element collected. This non-metallic and multivalent element seems to be present only in a solid state and exhibits a most pungent smell. It is fortunate fixed helmets are of such high quality. Store this potential resource for later use. We'll do that. All right, look at that here. Dropship. Two enemies here should be fine. Let's clear them first and then we can check that out. Let's hope I can survive this one. Ooh, don't do that. Yep, again, again. Sneaky one, sneaky one. I think this should be one head enough. All right, perfect. That's done. And take up the remains, of course. So we got here rotors, some iron rods, some cables, concrete, always good. Some reinforced plates, uh, all right, that's nice. Don't we have any wire here? No way. All right, so this is one that we're going to unlock after a while because we need some power. But these spots I'm going to travel in between. To grab all the resources and get all the hard drives down there. Alright, we're back from the travel. So, now we can do this one. Why do we need this? We need this for wire. Cable, we already got some. Alright, only thing left to do is plates. But we don't have enough. Oh no. Rods is not a problem. We need some plates. Alright, it's fine game. You have one. I will do some mining like so. Alright, that's 20. I could go all the way down there and grab some more resources. But for now, let's just keep this up like this. Alright, the final one. Go. Alright, the resources are done. Again, bring it in. Let's go. Hub upgrade 3. Interior furnishing completed. The constructor can produce simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that fix it pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 4. All right, before we're going to do upgrade 4, yeah, that bathroom that's uh flushing but it's not quite clean look at that what a mess what a mess but it will be gone soon so that's fine love this toilet but okay let's go into this one hmm we can change the colors i don't have my colors in here so let's see if i can find the number again all right bright green is all good let's see uh this is kind of looks like a welding helmet. That's something that I've done in the past. So yeah, welding, nice thing. We can also get the gold one. But I don't think that's a nice thing. Looking good, but no. Let's take this one and then... Hmm. Ooh, boy. That's a huge one. No, 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 no. Let's take this one and then let's say... Oh, that's the keychain down here. Perfect. I don't see the difference in these guns. I don't know if it really matters. So let's keep that as simple. It's looking good. Alright, close this one. 
So yeah, that's something you might know or not. You can customize, of course, your character here. Perfect. Did I miss something? I don't think so. Let's go with the upgrade 4. Alright, because we got already that concrete and that cable down there, we can push it in here. Only thing left to do is iron plates again. Really? Iron plates? Oh boy. Wait, we can make an equipment shop. Let's do this. Equipment shop, we're going to need you. Can we make a portable miner? No. Ooh, that's fine. You, let's quickly do that and let's get some portable miners up and running. This will help a lot. So we don't need to do all of this every time again and again and again. That's crazy. Alright, let's make four of them. Should be enough for now, I think. One. Two. And of course, three. After three will be four. Alright, four done. Nice. Alright, let's uh, grab them. Should be fine. Alright, let's place you... Go to work. One, two, three, four. Go, drones, go. Oh, it's already green. That's nice. Shiny drones. Go mine. Go take all the goodies. Love it. I love this one. And of course, what will this do? This will grab all the resources in here. Just do it like so. Take it all out of here. And then we can handcraft some more. Did we already unlock something like... Oh, smelter. Yeah, let's do this. Let's place a smelter here. Uh, maybe another one. Go away, bean. Bean. Go away. Go away. Alright, let's place another one in here. We need power. Alright. And power we can bring down there. Alright, that's one. Uh, what do we need? Can we make biomass already? Or should we wait for that? Let's see. Nope. We need to put in some leaves and all that stuff. That's fine. Alright, let's uh, bring in the leaves. Then, of course, you need to be connected. And then, what's the next thing? Oh yeah, we need to make the recipe and bring it all in here. Oh wait, that's the first one is done. We need more. More. And even more. And again, more, 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 more. Alright, you will also be this one. Perfect, fill it up. So what does this do is, of course, we get the iron in it. Automated, kind of. And then only thing left to do is grab it out of here. And this one. But if we want to do a little bit more automation, we need to place one of these. Hmm. Do we have a storage already? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's bring in the power like so. We're going to make plates. Alright, plates are working. Automated. Yay! We need 75. That's a lot. Alright, you have enough. I think it should be enough. I'm going to pick it up. And next thing that I'm going to do is go all the way to the top and make sure we got the rest. Also, maybe a good thing now is to make sure we got some limestone up and running. Uh, maybe two in here. And maybe two in here. Alright, they can keep on working. Let's go back. Upgrade 4 done. Hub upgrade 4, landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective. Complete upgrade. upgrade five. Alright, let's do this. Select milestone. We got enough of this, we got enough of this, but we don't have enough of rods. Oh boy. Let's quickly change this recipe. 
And uh, let's take it out of here. Let's select the recipe rods. Alright, let's make some rods now. So if you wonder how it's like with the power, you can check it out on a power pole. So we have a max consumption of 12, capacity is 20. So one machine is 20, we can maybe add one more of this constructor. Yeah, it's 4 megawatts, so it should be okay. If we can place something like so. Let's uh, delete this one. No, that's the wrong one. No way. This should be the one. And then you need to be connected on this one. So why we can do this is, of course, still making some plates if we want. So the power should still be fine. 16. Yeah, we can place one more. And I think I'm going to place it here just to get that concrete a little bit up and running. Let's place this one here and then connect this one here. Concrete is only needing limestone. I got only one. That's fine. That's why I've placed this one here. Take it all. Grab it all and then push it in here. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's true. We got the conveyor belt unlocked. So what we can do with the conveyor belt is connect them to each other like so. And then this one in here. And then this will go automatically into this one. And of course we got the iron out a little bit more automated. And the plates. Look at that, how beautiful. Still, I don't think we got the storage unlocked that. Nope. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. But that's fine. Alrighty, let's bring it in. Hub upgrade 5, power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planet fall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within 5 to 7 work days. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 6. Complete upgrade 6. You know, like you can see, I've already been placing some miners in here. The reason why is because we're going to need them. And I want to make sure everything is going to work. Something like that. But I think we don't have enough power. Do we? Max consumption 25, capacity 20. Yeah, we don't have enough. But we got another one in here. That's perfect. Let's uh, connect this one to this one. And this one maybe... No, let's uh, cut the power down. Just to make sure this is going to work. Alright, we bring in the next one in here. This is working, perfect. And we also got a storage now. Let's see, storages, also nice. Ooh, rods, 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 rods. But alright, I'm going, not going to store it now, it should be okay. We don't need this for now, but a little bit later on we need this. Let's check out, what is the next one? Because I know for sure we're going to get out of power soon. So let's get the last. I think it's the last one. This one done. Okay, let's bring it in. A little bit more of this. A little bit more of that. 100, 100. Alright, should be fine. Alright, so I don't have any power now. The fuel is gone. I got a little bit of wood so I can bring it in. But this one is also gone with 3. That should not be enough. This will, yeah, the bleed soon. So what I'm going to do is collect some more resources and we need to go to a fight. Oh yeah. This should be a fun thing. Oh boy. So if you check out this place where I am, you can go all the way down there. There are a lot of spots here and there to grab a lot of things like the leaves and the woods. But there is something more down there. Let's make sure we got some nuts. Sure, why not? What is this? This is copper. No, I don't need it. Alright, you can already see there is something down there. But there is another thing down there. Oh boy. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Alright, let's try it. 
left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and chuck, chuck, left, right, ooh, no, chop, chop, and chop, chop. Alright, let's take all that wood away so we can check this out. Alright, let's take this Mercer Spears first. It will keep on talking, so that's why. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal and will require study to determine local application, store it for later use. We do that. Alright, and of course we need this spitter remains. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Their weaponized plasma is most likely stored as a stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth, and only turns volatile when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Preserve the remains for later study. We'll do that again. Alright, like you can see I've been collecting a lot of stuff in here, a lot of wood and all that crazy stuff. We're going to need this, of course, to fuel everything. Hi Bean. Are you doing the moonwalk? Oh crazy. It's just floating. <laughs> crazy. Alright, a little bit more and that should be enough for now. We can do a lot more, but we can grab a lot more, but that's okay. I can go back and grab it all. It's not far away. Oh, you can walk normally. Oh. Birdie. So I think, if I'm correct, it's just like a flower. And when a bug is in there, then he's going to eat it. Really a nice thing. Eh, love this. Alright, let's go back. Alright, first of all, let's make sure we got some power in here. Do we have power in here? Yes. And then store the rest in here. And of course all the items that I'm not going to need for now I'm going to store this into the box. It's all for later use like Ada told us. Uh, do we have enough now because we are still producing? I oh that's not good. Uh, you need to be in here. So we're not producing any iron plates. Oh boy, it will be fun to get that all up and running. Especially if we can automate everything and make it 100% and all that crazy stuff. Love to see it. Love to do it. And alrighty, I think I got everything. Let's put it in here. Just like that. Is this the final one or should we do some more? Let's check it out. Hub upgrade 6. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements, because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier 1 and 2 milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. <laughs> we need to get to work. Alright, that's nice. So this is a good thing. We got the biomass leaves and biomass wood. So that's the first thing I want to change a little bit. So if I'm going to turn this off and maybe this off, it will yeah stop normally. Let's see. Alright, that's gone, that's fine. And I want to get all of... No, not this one. I want to get all of this one in here. Because I'm going to do a little bit of handcrafting. And that's for... Yeah, a little bit more fuel. Biomass, especially wood, will give you a lot more. Leaves a little bit, but that's fine. These things will be automated also. But that will be for another episode. So make sure you do like and subscribe. Because else you cannot follow along. And you missed maybe something. But for now, yeah, that's fine. And of course, this will burn a lot longer. I'm not going to bring it in here. Because we're going to change a lot. Because if we're going to check that out, we are now going to start really with the game. 
this is a tutorial this is the basic stuff this is how you can do it quite easy quite fast so it's not really that hard to do but that's the learning stuff i will yeah remove everything make it a little bit cleaner for the next episode and of course make sure we got enough biomass and all that crazy stuff all right so i hope you enjoy this one and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye all